When Bill Parcells' Giants dominated the NFL in 1990 and went on to win Super Bowl 25, they did it by playing power football. Oh, run with some power. See some power, Jumbo. In 1991, Joe Gibbs Redskins ruled the league. They too played old-fashioned, down-in-the-dirt power football and won Super Bowl 26. Jimmy Johnson didn't care. He didn't try to imitate the Giants or the Redskins. He tried to make a Dallas Cowboys team that was very similar to his University of Miami teams. Tremendously quick. Good, good quickness there. Good quickness. I was saying, you know what the rest of the division is saying about you, Jimmy. You can't outrun somebody to a division championship. This game is won with Braun. He looked at me and he says, Peter, he says, do you think I give a bleepity bleep what people think? I know we're going to win right, doing Derek, this. Derek, Derek, Derek. See that so fun! A little more quick. He's got to make that cut, Derek. We don't accept that just because others have done it before us in a certain way that that's the way we're going to do it. We might research how the winners have done it in the past, but we're still looking for the edge of maybe a different way in a unique way to get it done. That way we might be better than those that have come before us. The Cowboys opened the 92 season against the Redskins and Giants. The goal was to beat the last two Super Bowl champs with speed and quickness. Back takes it at his 21. Comes left, 25. There's a block. 30. There's a block. 40. There goes Kelvin Martin. This one's going 79 yards. Kelvin Martin. Touchdown. Yo, man. Speed. Unbelievable speed. They are going to rush the Kelly Goodburn. The balance of power in the NFC East had shifted. Power football had been replaced by speed football. After three years of intelligent drafts and trades, Jimmy Johnson had the team he wanted. No longer were the Dallas Cowboys. America's team. Now they were Jimmy's team. The thing that I've always said about our players is I wanted them to be playmakers. Playmaker! Come get rid of play! Come get rid of it! I wanted them to have the quickness you know, to make a play, whether it be the quickness of a running back like Emmitt Smith to avoid a tackling. The coverage makes a cut. Gets it all. He's still going. He's going to score. He's got the five. It's a touchdown. Or the quickness of a Russell Maryland to avoid a blocker and make a tackle. He has got the greatest ability to put players in the right situations to give them opportunities to become playmakers. He has the greatest knack of understanding personnel. When you uh, tell someone that he's a playmaker, uh, when you have someone like Michael Irvin who's got it on his license plate, It's an expectation that he has. It's something that is almost ingrained in them, that they feel like that when the time comes, they will make the play. Make play, maker. What I do? Make play. That's what make play, baby. Give me an opportunity. Opportunity to make play. The guy is the best coach to come into the NFL probably since I've been alive. He's got a knack for getting every player to play at his peak. We know if it's a 60-minute ball game, in time, our playmakers will come through for us. Playmakers littered the field for Dallas in 92, on both sides of the ball. Johnson and his staff made defensive situation substitution a science. They sent fresh troops in constantly and ordered them to attack. Defense in the league. Number one defense. defense in the league. 
in the lead. That number one defense led the 13 and three Cowboys to the playoffs, where once again, they met their nemesis. Philadelphia was no match for the NFL's fastest and youngest team. You are one game away from the Super Bowl. Not exactly a beautiful day, but hopefully it will be here in about uh, four hours. We just asked to get up, baby. Sam Fred home. A rite of passage, a passing of the torch, a beheading of an old king in favor of a new one. The team of the 80s was meeting the team of the 90s, and youth was being served. A pair of Emmett Smith scores helped Dallas to a 4.4 quarter lead with a little over four minutes remaining. Most coaches would have been conservative, trying to beat the Niners by beating the clock, but Jimmy Johnson isn't like most coaches. Ability to take a risk gave us an opportunity to win a Super Bowl. You can't be afraid to fail. Uh, uh, I think it's a, a bigger sin not to at least take an advantage of an opportunity or take a chance than to go out there and, and maybe come up a little bit short, but at least try. With the Cowboys gambler of the past overlooking the gambler of the present, Dallas went for the win. For the biggest drive in probably 12 years. This one is going to throw, deep slant, caught, 35, Harper's breaking away, Harper's got midfield, Harper's got the 30, Johnson, you're a gambling fool sometimes. He gambled by trading Herschel Walker. He gambled by making 46 trades in four years. He gambled by opting for speed over power. But is it gambling if you know you're going to win? Everybody, you did one hell of a job. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them Cowboys? Yeah! Cowboys, huh? <laughs> it might be more colorful to tell you that I was consumed with tense, suspenseful thoughts, but there were none. Oh, I was excited and happy and anxious to get started, but as for the sort of feeling a commander has as a great battle looms, no, that had come two weeks earlier at San Francisco. It must have been a more tense time for the Bills than for us, because they'd been to two straight Super Bowls without a win. It would be three when this day was done. I knew that. And in his fourth season with the Cowboys, head coach Jimmy Johnson. I just wanted to lay that royal flush on the table and rake in all the chips. You know, Coach Johnson comes in, he would tell you in the Super Bowl, the difference in the game will be turnovers. You know, I've studied and I've studied and I've studied, and this will be the difference. We will have the turnovers, we will win the ball game. He didn't say, if we make them make the turnovers, we'll win the ball game. He said, we will get the turnovers, and we will win the ball game. And you go, we go into that game, and boom, they start turning it over and turning it over, and we start going up. And we're like, man, you know, this is kind of wild, you know. He preaches about a lot of things, but you better believe what he preaches about is usually true. Jimmy Johnson talked for 10 days about the importance of turnovers. Well, here's Haley, hit him and picked off in the air. Jimmy Jones intercepts and rolls in for a touchdown. You know, we were just laying down the cards on the table, one by one. Ken of hearts. Going for the end zone. Novacek at the two, takes it in. Touchdown, Cowboy. Jack of hearts. Aikman to Urban. Dallas, touchdown. Queen of hearts. Aikman a draw to Smith. Coming left, breaks the... One billion people watching on television weren't certain we held the rest of the cards, but we were. 